and we've been talking earlier about how President Trump, uh, the travel ban, well, the communication was probably very poor. But in terms of policy, doesn't this at least to some degree validate the idea that it makes sense for us to at least put the brakes on visitors from countries that are in complete disarray, places like Libya and Syria, where apparently this terrorist uh, had just visited? Isn't that a sensible policy for the United States? Well, a sensible policy for the United States, I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very good point to bring up, is to, you know, say, yes, of course, we're on, on, on immigrants. Of course we are. And, of course, you know, we want us to have a proper and, and uh, efficient immigration system. And that also means that individuals coming into the country, we should be able to properly vet them, and particularly when they're coming from failed states. I, I, I just don't see how that is. Uh, difficult to comprehend. Right. Uh, so, yes, I mean, I think this indicates that you know, there needs to be more done. If, as an example, if the attacker had been thoroughly vetted, um, you know, at the time, but, but again, I would, I would look at this in, in a different way. Yeah. That family came over from Libya to the UK and he was born in the UK. So, what does that mean? In that situation, then, Vetting that family before they came over would have accomplished nothing. Mm, and okay. so, again, there's, there's, there's more to this than, than, than meets the eye. I well, guess what I'm saying is that it's a complicated issue, and sometimes we, we try to throw it in some sort of simple box in an effort to understand, you know, the horrific nature of these types of sure, attacks. Sure, fair enough. Mike, U.K. Prime Minister Theresa May is going to be meeting with President Trump today in Brussels. Obviously, this is going to come up, but she's also going to address the recent leaks by U.S. Mm. intelligence officials to the press surrounding the Manchester bombing investigation. Now, these leaks have put a huge strain on the relationship between the intelligence communities in the U.S. and U.K., with some reports saying that investigators have stopped sharing information with the U.S. regarding the bombing. What, what's your take here? Well, first of all, there's no evidence that it comes from intelligence officials in the U.S. So the, the likelihood is that the information is, is uh, more thoroughly shared with law enforcement contacts. But at the same time, there's also it's not clear that it didn't come to the New York Times, and the New York Times is, is, is uh, you know is, is squarely in the spotlight on this one. Uh, that you know I, I I haven't seen anything that, that tells me that it's not a possibility that the New York Times doesn't have a source over there in the UK that provided this information. Mm -hmm. uh, so. You know, I, I think we're, we're kind of leaping through this. It's also interesting that the New York Times is about the only uh, outlet today that didn't bother to report on this uh, uproar over the leaks, uh, you know, given they are, are front and center in this whole thing. Yeah, it's a good, uh, that's I would a good not point, make, actually, yeah. I would not make too much of, you know, the strain this might put on the relationship. There, there is, there's no daylight between us and, and, and our U.K. Uh, counterparts, whether it's MI5 or 6 or the Metropolitan Police or the Counterterrorist Command, uh, and you know, yes, it's it's uh, it's frustrating in a sense, uh, and it shouldn't be happening. You know, that information is shared in confidence, and it shouldn't be leaked. There's no doubt about that. But at the same time, uh, the reality is that the cooperation continues uh, off the radar screen. Mm -hmm. And while these statements are made by the Home Secretary Amber Rudd or others in public uh, theater, you know. Down on the street and behind the scenes, you know, our cooperation is as tight as it's ever been. Hmm. All right, we'll leave it there. Mike, great to talk with you. Thanks so much for weighing in. Thank you. Take Mike, care. Mike Baker there.